My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our day number 19. Day number 19. The problem is already on the blackboard. I'm going to read it to you. But, if I, but I can't read it to you until I find my big pencil. There you go. It says, show, show that the expression 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3x equals 0 when x equals 0 and when x equals half and when x equals 3. So it's a three part uh, that we have to do. There are three different times we have to do this. Uh, three different times we have to evaluate these expressions once when x is 0, second time when x equals half and the third time we have to evaluate this expression one more time when x equals 3 and in each time we have to show that the expression equals 0. So let's get going. The very first thing we need to do very first thing we need, very first thing we need to do is to give this expression a name so that it's easier for us to talk about it instead of calling it this expression all the time. Let's, let's christen this expression. Let's call it. What do you want to call it? What did I call it in my notes? Let's call it, let's call it expression A. Let's call it A. Okay? Let's call this expression A. The word that I just used was christen, which means to name something, to give something a name, christen. You will find it on day number 63. Day number 63. Just type in Keshwani Prep dash vocab dash day 63. Keshwani Prep dash vocab dash day 63. And you will see my vocabulary videos, just like just like I have the algebra videos that you're watching right now. I also have videos on geometry. And if you want to watch those videos, you simply type in Kashwani Prep dash geometry dash day 19, and you will see what I did on day number 19 for the geometry video. And similarly, I have vocabulary videos. This word christen we covered it on 63, which simply means to give something a name. Let's christen it. We call it A. So now that we have A, now that we have the name for it, we can work on it. I need the room, so I need to erase all of this top part here. The expression was a of x is 2x squared, 2x cubed rather, minus 7x squared plus 3x. We have to find a of 0. We have to find a of 0. This, is, this thing is read as a of 0. This is how it's this is how it's read a of zero. And what does it mean? A of zero means a of zero. This is how you read it, a of zero. It means the value of the expression of the expression a when x equals zero. And which is exactly what we have to find. We have to find this value. We have to find the value of this expression when x equals 0. But instead of saying it in such a long way, in such a verbose way, verbose is the is word that we covered on day number 16. Just type in Kashmani prep dash vocab dash day 16. Instead of, instead of saying this whole thing in such a verbose way, in such a wordy way, find the value of this expression, find the value of this expression when x equals 0, mathematicians do not talk like that. Mathematicians will say, find a of 0, a of 0 a of there are three things we are asked to find here I'm going to raise this part we already called it a when we know it that's it there are three there are three things we are asked to find we are asked to find a of zero we are asked to find a of half we are asked to find a of three a of three is how you read this part it means Find the value of the expression a when x equals 3. 
a of half find the value of the expression what you, the expression that you're calling a this expression here find the value of that expression when x equals half find a of half find a of zero find the value of the expression a when x equals zero that's how we talk in mathematics that's how we speak so next time when you hear your algebra teacher talk about a of zero or f of three well, f of 3 simply means that there is some expression which they're calling f. They like to call it f. I don't, don't ask me why. They like to call everything f to make your life miserable. It not, everything does not have to be a, a f. It's just a name for that expression. Every bloody, I was going to say something starting with an f, every bloody expression in the algebra book does not need to be called f. Do you understand? You can f that. Forget about that. It's just a name that you're giving to an expression. You can call it anything that you want. I'm calling it A. So let's find A of 0. A of 0 would be, so we take our expression and replace x with a 0. 0, zero cubed minus 0 squared plus 3 times 0. Of course, this is going to be 0 because this is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 0 times 7 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. The whole thing is 0. That's very easy to find. It is 0. Let's move on to the next part. We are asked to find what was the next one? I know 3 was the last one. A of half. Let's find it. A of half. I need the room. So 2 times. Let's keep this separate. So we're done with that. A of half. 2 times x cubed, this is half cubed, minus 7x squared, and x is half, so half squared, plus 3 times half, there we go. And all we have to do is show that this value, this expression, equals 0. So let's find out. It bloody well better be 0, because otherwise we are in trouble. 2 cubed is 8, so this is just 2 over 8 minus 7 over 2 squared is 4 plus 3 over 2. The very first thing I'm going to do is instead of writing this as 2 over 8 which is annoying it's annoying because if we were to leave this 8 we have to make everything into 8 let's make this turn turn this into a 4 so this is just 1 over 4. Here's 4 how do I make this into 4? Multiply the top and the bottom by 2. Voila. Now since since the denominator is 4 for everything Since the denominator is 4 for everything, all we have to do is simply add them. So here's our 4. So this is just 1 minus 7 plus 2 times 3, which is 6. So there you go. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. And of course, 0 divided by 4 is going to be 0 because 0 divided by 0 divided by any number is 0. Which makes sense because if you have a big fat of nothing and you take that big fat nothing and cut it into 7 parts you're still going to have big fat nothing in each part because uh, 7 parts of nothing is still nothing. 0 divided by any number is 0. That's it. We have done that. We have shown that the expression equals equals to 0 when x equals half. We are not quite done yet though are we? Because we have third part. We are also asked to find the value of the expression when x equals 3. So let's do that. We need the room. I'm going to do it at the very bottom. I hope that you can read it. But in order to do this, I'm going to erase this part. We don't need this thing. This is childish. We already know it's equal to 0. Let's do part number 3, where we have to show the value of the expression when x equals, when x equals 3. So a, a of 3, a of 3 is what we are finding. a of 3, again one more time, I know I repeat myself but that's how we learn it. a of 3 means we are going to find the value of this expression which we are calling a when x equals 3. 2 times 3 cubed minus 7 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3, 3 times x, you see? We're just replacing x with the with 3. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 
and 227 make 54. How do I know that 227s make 54? Well, because I know that 225s make 50. And instead of 25, we have 27, it's two more. So two, we have two twos. So 50 and a 4, 54. Times 7, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 7. Well, I know 10 times 7 is 70. So 9 times 7 better be 7 less than 70, which is 63. Plus 3 times 3, which is 9. Well, let's see what we get. Oh, there you go. 54 plus a 9 would give us 63, and 63 minus 63 is a big fat zero. Well, there you go, we have shown that. We have shown that, we have shown that A of 3, well, this is the, these are the three things we have shown. We have shown that uh, A of 0 equals to A of half, which equals to A of 3, because they all equal to a big fat zero. That's it, we have done what, what we were asked to do. That was the end of our lesson for today, day number 19. I will see you tomorrow on day number 20 with our last day which we will spend on evaluating algebraic expressions. And after day number 20, after tomorrow we are going to move on to a new topic where we are going to learn how to add and subtract algebraic expressions for the next 10 days. And after we have done that, starting from day number 31 through 40 for the following 10 days, we will learn how to multiply and divide algebraic expressions. And that will be the foundation of your algebra. And after that we'll go move on to the simple linear equations. And once we have learned how to manipulate simple linear equations, then I'm going to take you on a new journey where we're going to begin to solve word problems. Do you understand? But you must do these videos in proper sequence. Don't skip around. Don't, uh, don't, uh, uh, don't be lazy. If you try to save time, this is not the way to save time by skipping videos. If you want to learn the algebra properly, this is the way to do it. it. As I said in my first video, in my introduction, it takes time and it takes effort. Learning anything takes time and effort, not just algebra, if you want to learn anything in life. I do not know why I do that, but there was the sermon again at the end. I say Amen. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 20. If you wish to get hold of me, send me an email from any of these website addresses that you see. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thanks.